I'm afraid. That's how this works, isn't it? When you know you're thinking the wrong thought or about to express the wrong idea, nobody wants to find themselves on the outside looking in. So we play along. And yet there's never been a more important time to think for yourself, so don't believe anything I say. Languages evolve organically. But in the last decade, there's been a sudden onslaught of new words and new uses of familiar ones that doesn't seem organic at all. If you're interpreting these words in liberalism's frame and think you know what they mean, you probably don't. In the woke frame, one abstract concept is defined by another in a closed system of constructed theory that doesn't need to correspond to reality. It's like a website with no external links. You can click around all you like, but you're still going to be stuck on the same site. Unless you've been initiated in that frame, that is, you're woke, it won't make any sense. And if you are woke, it will be difficult to see things any other way. The reason for insisting on specific words is that you're meant to think specific thoughts, and ultimately, to support a specific strategy of social change. Damn it. How do I get out of here? Ah, there we go. And then there are the words you're strongly suggested not to use. Stanford University, their IT department, published a formal list. You can't say, American? <laughs> In the woke lexicon, new terms are invented like microaggressions. Other words experience concept creep, like the definition of harm being expanded to refer to what used to be merely offensive or unpleasant. And distinct concepts like sex and gender are blurred, resulting in people talking past each other. We've especially got to keep an eye out for those crossover words that show up in both frames. Equity sounds like another way of saying equality. And if we understand it in the liberalism frame, most everyone would agree that that's a good thing. Treating people equally without regard to the color of their skin is a liberal value. However, in the woke frame, it doesn't mean that. It means treating people differently based on the color of their skin, or take anti-racism. In the liberalism frame, it simply means being against racism. But in the woke frame, anti-racism means something different. According to Kendi, racial discrimination is not racist as long as you're racially discriminating in order to achieve equity. Now, you may think that's a good idea, or a bad idea, but it's a very different idea than simply being against racism. And it comes with a political agenda, the pursuit of policies to institutionalize that form of racial discrimination. In the woke lexicon, there are circular definitions like Robin D'Angelo's concept of white fragility. Then there are the false dilemmas. You may not agree with me, but either I'm right or you're wrong. That's how it works. Would you rather be hit over the head with a hammer or poked in the eye with a sharp stick? On the surface, you appear to have a choice, but whichever answer you give, it's going to hurt because you accepted an implicit frame in which you getting hurt was the predetermined outcome. If you're not anti-racist, you're racist. There's no questioning whether racism is the appropriate frame for understanding any given social problem. There's no option for simply not racist because race being central to every social issue is the frame in which every social issue is meant to be understood. It's a closed system. Do you identify as a man or as a woman? When you post pronouns on your profile, it's not just about being compassionate. You're validating an implicit frame in which being a man or woman is a matter of choice, not a biological fact. The word woman refers to an adult female in the biological frame of sex, but in the woke frame of gender, it can refer to an adult male who identifies as a woman. If we think of these two frames as having equal validity, then the definition of woman becomes the site of a zero-sum battle because woman can't simultaneously be determined by biology and be an act of choice. Believing that's even possible is a double think. In liberalism, we'd resolve a contradiction like that by applying the tools of scientific inquiry and open debate. We'd be seeking a unifying and universal truth about the nature of sex, gender, and identity, something we could all agree on, like the Earth revolving around the sun. But that's not possible in this case because liberalism itself is one of the protagonists in this drama. And without its shared framework to reality test and resolve contradictions, all you've got is a battle of wills. The idea that something is true if it corresponds to reality is part of the liberalism frame and the woke reject liberalism itself.